Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, the Legendary Edition. Try to get one more episode recorded tonight. I've had to charge my headset up for an hour. That should be enough to get one more episode done. Right. Let's finish off these Firewalker ones, I think. Ah, oh, Rim, you're only 75%. You're zero. Okay, we'll go for here first. We are getting close to the end. Let's do some scanning quickly. Alright, here we are. <coughs> Why? As soon as I get done, do I have to sneeze? Alright, let's get this fire walk a bit done. Right, nothing new for you guys. Oh, blimey, it's this one. Kinetic barrier detected. Kinetic barrier strength beyond conventional weapon capability. Recommend disabling power sources. All right, let's go do that then. I've got to keep an eye out for those drones. Might as well pick up these, although I'm, I think I'm pretty much well and truly overstocked now for the amount of resources I can collect. Did I get you both? Yeah. Calm down, you lot. Jesus. All right, not getting up that way. All right. So, how am I getting up there? Never mind, let's get this one first then. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Oops. Damn it. Structural damage. Please avoid collision with kinetic barrier. All right, maybe it's this way. Thank you. None of your nonsense. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. 
Perfect. Kinetic barrier deactivated. Path is clear. And now we're on foot from here. I'll keep my disruptor ammo on. I suspect we'll be dealing with husks. The site is spectacular. Time, however, has proven to be the real enemy. Even with those blue sun thugs hired to protect the dig site, we barely managed to erect the shield before the geth arrive. How can they know our movements almost before we do? Am I beaming my thoughts directly to them? I, I must find out how they are doing this. I shall ask Dr. O'Loy for whatever help he can provide. Uh huh. If you will insist on messing around with Reaper Tech, you're going to get indoctrinated. Just don't. Just, just destroy it, just to be safe. It's much safer that way. This should come in handy. Ooh, biotic damage. It's too late for me. They're still in my head, stealing my thoughts. I can't keep them out. I've got no choice but to destroy this relic and myself. I think you've realised that a bit too late, mate. Right, uh, that one. That one, and that one. That's nice, that's how I like it. Nice, simple, easy. Oh, it's one of these ones. Dr. Case would never uh, understand the deal I made with the collectors. He's obsessed with those with these Protheans. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen, to ensure you remained safe. The damn collectors agreed to spare your colony in exchange for this Prothean find. I can only hope you remained innocent of any of any of this ugly business. It was all for you, Dr. Robert O'Loy. Ah. Examine. There must have been the off switch. Or not. I can't remember if that has any significance into Mass Effect 3 or not. Who knows? Right, now well, that's done. Probably gonna have to do some more scanning. Yeah, there's two more systems in here to do. So I'll get that done and then we'll move on. All right, we found another secret side mission while I was scanning. Let's go see what the issue is here. Still nothing new. Oh, this might be the Quarian one. Yeah, I think it is because uh, a Quarian has crash landed here and she's about to be attacked by uh, Farron or Farron. Uh, we managed to escape the guest notice thanks to some clever work in silencing 
Sinead's engines, but the strain on the old ship was too much. The best we can hope for is to find a friendly spot somewhere in the shell system. Our reports show that that isn't extreme. That is, that isn't extremely likely. We were nervous scouting this close to the Perseus Vale, and we were right to be. At this point, I'm afraid we might never see the fleet again. With everything uh, the Sydney ad has been through, it seems like an ignoble end. Landing was rough, but we managed to uh, salvage from the wreckage the things we need to survive. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Commander Gorlat didn't make it, leaving me the senior officer in charge. We've scouted the landscape and found the planet to be extremely hostile. We don't dare remove our environment suits here. We're all hoping to be rescued before there's any danger of exposure. I don't know who or what is taking them, but we've now lost more than half the crew who survived the crash. We hoped to build a camp here to survive until the uh, Idena found our beacon, but something is hunting us. I have to keep the crew together the best I can. We will send out a search party when the day comes. I will find my crew and we will do whatever it takes to return to the Idena. Uh, Baron. All right, let's go save this quarian. I believe there's only one left. Quarian life signs are stabilized. I recommend securing the area in preparation for shuttle extraction. Yep. Yeah. Heads up. Here they come. Go for the optics. Yes, there we go. Let's go. There we go. And she survived. Damn Farron. I don't we don't use a shotgun shepherd. <laughs> Who needs a shotgun where you can just kick it in the face? There we go. Right, that should be this area of the map 100% done. Yeah. Excellent. Let's head over to the other Firewalker mission. I think that should be the last one. There we go. Yes. Okay, cool. We've got F Project Overlord and the Firewalker mission here. So let me finish you off. You're 100%. You're 100%. All right. We're getting through it. We're getting there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Scanning. All right, here we go. I think this should be the last uh, Firewalker mission. This could be the Ice Planet one. Yeah, it is. This is my least favorite one to do. I mean, it's easy. I just don't enjoy it.
Can't get to the heat spot, thank you. Give me the thing. Thank you. Seven left. Caution, engine temperature falling. I know. Extraction complete. Caution, engine temperature falling. I know it is. You don't need to keep reminding me. Don't get stuck on things. Extraction complete. Extraction complete. Three left, come on. Does it heat up? No, wait, does it after I've collected the thing? Right, two left, come on. Warning, engine temperature below recommended parameters. I know. Don't worry about it, we've only got one node left and we're good. Warning. Engine temperature below recommended parameters. Oh, no. Extraction complete. That should do. And that is why I don't like that one. Mass Effect Andromeda has a similar planet that does the same thing, but, you, but it has spots where you recover heat automatically as soon as you get to them, and it doesn't, they don't stop working. Oh, I do not like that one at all. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I imagine I've received a few. The Normandy, uh, Normandy crew, we've retrieved your identity from the docking data aboard the MSV Broken Arrow, we're led to believe that your crew is responsible for saving our colony from catastrophic event. Not only did you defeat the Geth and prevent the ship from crashing into the planet in the trajectory that would have destroyed our colony, but you've also saved nearly 100 munitions crates that would have been lost in the ship's scuttling. Thanks to you, we are safe and can continue the Broken Arrow's work in arming the colonies on the fringe of Geth space. On behalf of the residents of Fargon Connolly, you have our eternal gratitude. Uh, the Ciliad. Commander Shepard, please accept my sincere appreciation for your efforts in locating the wreckage of the Ciliad. The ship has a storied history and with both the migrant fleet and Cerberus, and we are pleased to know that her wreckage can be salvaged by my people. In finding and stabilising Lieutenant Forzan, you have returned to the flotilla one of our newest and most honoured heroes. Your efforts in furthering the quarry and search for a new home, wor home world will be remembered. You are welcome. Project Firewalker. Commander, a very capable team is analysing the data you gathered from the guest's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new ventures for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovations that should help us develop better systems to, to reduce atmospheric noise. There is no evidence of protein activity on this planet. Historic Discovery Project Firewalker The burst of energy that coincided with your retrieval of the protein artifact uh, contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threads we were able to uh, decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the sciences busy for, for years to come. The data indicates that the artifact is currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, that if Dr. Case had more time, 
Would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A landmark find for, for humanity. Good work, Shepard. You are welcome. All right. All right. I'm going to do some scanning, and then we will decide what we're going to do after that. All right. As we're in the system, we're going to start Project Overlord DLC. This one is going to be a fairly lengthy one if I remember rightly, so we'll start it in this episode and we'll probably finish it in the next one. No, I'm not going to upgrade anything just yet. God, look at the state of me. Sweaty mess. My name is Dr. Gavin Archer. The situation is urgent. We're facing a catastrophic VI breakout. I'll explain the details later, but you must retract that transmission dish. The controls aren't far from your position. You have to hurry. All right. You don't have to shoot the cameras. I just like doing it. I have weapons. Here's me declaring my weapons. Disruptor ammo out. I'm just checking that there's nothing here. Track the dish. I'm surprised they didn't give Tally some lines for this one, if you bring Tally with you. Another reason why I'd love to see this trilogy remade, it would really give them a chance to expand on some of the... Uh, some of the issues between some of the other races, and like the between the uh, Quarians and the, the Geth, Turians and humans, the Krogans and everyone. As it will help bring the automated security update. Get activity has been detected. Please remain at your workstations until the all clear is given. Yeah, workstations. Don't try and find anywhere to hide. Excellent stuff. Wow, heavy fire. Mm. Are mine. There we 
good. to a lot of ammo. Passive shot was definitely aimed towards you. All right, I need. Uh, all right, let's switch to the shotgun. Screw it. No. Is that all of them? Jeez, right. I need some ammo. Do you not have ammo? Thank you. <sighs> Grab that. Grab you. Perfect. We'll stop back up. It's good, you guys. You're kind of in the way. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, it was in here. All right, here we go. Let's go deal with this antenna. Don't approve it, so that's it. It can't go. Flummoxed by permissions. 
Though somehow I don't think this VI is going to accept that. All right. Yes, explode. Oh, blimey. Not sure that was uh, meant to happen. Because it's very, very smart. Oh, look at that. Double moons. Nice. Slow mo audio. You right there? All right, I think we've got them all. Uh, right. You. You. You and then you. Anyone home? Oh. Do we get them all? All right, good. You need to destroy the support struts now. They have their own capacitors. Try blowing them up. All righty. I know, I'm the one who did it. Oh. Alright, that one wasn't me.
There we go. You've done it. You've severed the link to the satellite. Wait, wait, run. You've got to be kidding. Well, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> My dish. Over here. What the hell is going on around here? Man's reach exceeding his grasp. Come on, I'll explain. No need to get poetic. I just want an explanation. But it's warm. Ray. Well, that's part one of it finished. But the episode isn't over yet, so we'll push on a bit. Thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer, chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been... Less than satisfactory. I'd hate to see what you'd call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed. At least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. What's the worst case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extranet, who knows where it would end. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. Um. To enter, you need to um. manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan Station. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. That needs a patch. <laughs> How does lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. What happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What happens on this station? This is Hermes station. Our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you'd never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. I'm sure Tally would have something to say about that. That's an ambitious undertaking. It will be the perfect weapon. 
Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. Alright. Let's get a crack on, shall we? Uh, yeah, there's nowhere else to go, so yeah, this way. All right, let's go. To, let's get to these other stations. Yet need to deal with these. There we go. Grab this. Excuse me, VI. Alright, let's go to Prometheus Station since we're heading in this direction anyway. Yes. I could do without constant, constantly being asked about what crew I want with me. If I've selected my crew, I've selected them. Awesome. Scanning area. Analysis. Generators are providing power for main shield. Warning. The VI infection has assumed control of the Get Cannon. Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, I can't judge this one. This one's harder to judge than it is in the original game. Warning, we are being targeted. Warning, Get Cannon is locking on our location. 
Alright, I think I got it now. Come on. No further threats detected. Entry into the ship is now clear. Thank you, VI. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think we got them all. Thanks, Garris. Welcome aboard the Prometheus. Hanging around all these dormant machines. <coughs> it's like death staring at us from the shadows. I'd rather work at Vulcan Station. Would you now? Well, they, you know what they say always, tr always trust your instincts. Hi, David. You're looking green. All right. Let's not have any of that now. Yeah, I don't like those odds. Something quite creepy about being in an abandoned ship for synthetics. Halloween was yesterday. Lanigan ran around wearing spare get parts. Spoke the shit out of everyone. Now I definitely hate him. Oh, come on. You just have no sense of humour. Halloween, for God's sake. Everyone's entitled to one good scare. So that's where I need to go, so let's have a look over here. Anything else in here? No. Alrighty. My alarm going off. Oh, 
push this for a few more minutes and then draw this episode to a close. Yeah, the lift music. Everyone loves that. Analysis. The objective is located on the far side of this impasse. Right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. No. No, 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 no. Go. Okay. And move you across there. Then you. Alright, before we head over to Thing, we'll go over here. Grab these. Move you across there. Move you across there, and that should be it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anything else in here? No. Oh yeah, there's this. Ah, perfect, thank you. Good job, Tally. All right. I'm going to have to end this episode here, unfortunately. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be Sigma later. This will be Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.